Hey y'all, it's your girl Q, and today, today y'all, we have another product review, y'all, and I'm, I'm just ridiculously excited about this one, you hear me? Alright y'all, let's get it! Hit that subscribe button, and that notification bell too, like my video, share my video, and leave me a comment, boo, <laughs> And we're back. All right, y'all. Today, y'all see what it is. Today, we got the slow juicer. It's a masticating, uh, it's a masticating, masticating, excuse me, masticating, um, slow juicer. So, it's the type of juicer that has that chewing effect. It feels, um, it, it breaks down the vegetables and the fruit as if it's chewing it. You know what I mean? Like how you chew in your mouth. So it gets so much of the juice out of whatever. Well, we gonna see. We gonna see what it's talking about. We gonna see what it is. But first, before we do any of that, you feel me? We gotta get it out the box. All right, y'all. So now that we've gotten it out the box and I've got it semi-assembled. And the reason why I say semi-assembled is because there's a whole nother piece right here. And I don't know exactly what that does. So I'm gonna get off into the instructions. You know how we do. And you know it's always good to have instructions. You feel me? All right, so first there was this little insert slip and it said to read carefully before use. Basically it's just telling um, you that, you know, to make sure that you masticate the celery last. It's saying that parsley is not okay to masticate, but celery is. Um, also it gives a, um, kind of a, a insight on soft and succulent vegetables and fruit it says kindly remind or kindly remember that fruit like tomatoes watermelon and grapes are too soft and succulent to be extracted it is normal that the pulp will contain a small percentage of the juice after masticating so if you you know masticate watermelon or grape or tomato or any soft fruits like mango stuff like that there is still going to be some of that juice in the pulp you feel me so i mean stuff like that i would use in like a, a muffin or something like that like say you got some of the uh the apple left over you know what i'm saying you can really kind of blend that down add it in to some muffins you feel me fire and no waste i hate wasting food <laughs> but anywho all right so here we go uh also on the back it talks about the compression silicone which is this red piece on the inside silicone piece and it says under the container there's a red silicone piece which is used to offer a slot to make sure the pulp goes out easily kind of like it gives a segue for the pulp to go where the pulp goes which is over here all right and so the juice comes out right here which i like this spout action this is pretty cool because one of the things i can't stand about juicers that i've used in the past is that when you're done juicing and you have to move this there's there's you wasting money man because it's, it's dribbling on the thing right so there's juice that you're losing that's falling out onto the table so with this stopper you just whoop, oh damn i did that hard as hell <laughs> gentle girl damn all right so with this right here you can just kind of boop boop it closed and you don't have all this spillage which is great all right so now a warning it says always ensure that the appliance is completely assembled before operating do not use the appliance empty or unloaded always remove any seeds or outer skins from fruits and vegetables before juicing please do not use like you're not just gonna stuff a whole orange in here don't do that don't you're gonna break your shit, man don't do that all right so make sure you peel it first and then put it in there all right, um, please do not use dishwashing machine to wash all the parts. Some of the parts you're not gonna wash in the dishwasher, but these parts here are dishwasher safe. Like the outer parts, the actual care, the, the parts that you're actually gonna want to put in the dishwasher, you can put in the dishwasher. All right, and then the appliance has a limited current design. Okay. Oh yeah, don't crowd it. Don't put too many ingredients at one time. That'll make it stop working and there will be a reverse button that makes the ingredients go back. No sour fruit or vegetables. For fruit or vegetables such as like lemon is not allowed to be extracted by this appliance. Is it too much sour juice may cause it broken. Who the fuck wrote this? Like, <laughs> so, I ain't trying to be funny y'all, but listen, this is how it's written. 
No sour fruit or vegetables for fruit or vegetables such as lemon is not allowed to be extracted by this appliance as too much sour juice may cause it broken. And I'm gonna say this, proofread. Proofread, proofread, proofread. Before you send instructions to and this is for my manufacturers out there. This is to my people who are actually making these products and shipping them. Make sure that you get somebody who is really good at how they word things so that people will know what we're actually supposed to be doing. Because sometimes a lot gets lost in translation and a lot gets missed so that we're not getting the full gist of what we're supposed to be or how to put something together. You know what I mean? Especially for instructions. You feel me? All right. So anyways. But that's why review videos are so important. So, I mean, I just kind of keep fucking it up so we can figure it out. And then, yeah, all right, bet. <laughs> hey, you feel me? All right, so now let's look at the instruction manual. Because why? Because it's always good to have instructions. Y'all already know. Okay, so this is the Ayeto, uh, the Ayeto Slow Juicer by Hair Hot M. Masticating slow juicer user manual. Important safeguards, parts, how to assemble, operating instructions, care and cleaning, troubleshooting. Okay, so let's get to the meat and potatoes of this shit. Bam. Assembly guide. <laughs> we get to the meat and potatoes. We are getting to the heart of this shit. Okay, so step one. Silver dot on the container. We see that align the silver dot on two container to match the silver dot on one, which is the main body. Step two, black pit on filter. Align the black pit. Let's see. It says a black pit. And I'm guessing that's this. Okay, so there's a, I'm gonna show y'all all, all of this stuff up close, don't worry. Before I start juicing, I'll make sure I add in footage of that. So there's a, a black divot, like a little circle, and they want you to match it up with the silver one that's on the edge. Put the filter into the container until the filter can't be rotated. Can't rotate that. That's in there. All right, step three. Press the auger four into the filter three. That's what this is. This is the auger. Okay, and you're gonna press it in this way until the auger can't be easy to pull up. Okay. Okay, that's in there as it should be. Okay, now align the top edge of the lid five to match the silver dot on the edge of the number two container. we had it at first. Now that's on there now. Boom. And I like this. You see how cute that is? So you're going to put the fruit in there like that. Or no. Yeah, the fruit got to go in some kind of way though. Mm. The fruit go in on this side. We finna see. Hold on. Container. Put the lid onto the container. Rotate the lid lock. It will match with the silver dot on the container. Okay, and then it just shows everything um, broken down piece by piece. All right. So we've gotten everything all together. This is all set up the way it should be. So now we are going to go back to the instructions because I'm not going to break my shit. I just got it. So we ain't even finna. We ain't finna break our shit now. Okay, operating instructions. Use the pusher only when necessary. God damn it. Use the pusher only when necessary. This. So the fruit do go in here. Like that. It goes on that side. That's what I thought. All right. So the fruit goes on that side. Keep the smart cap open before squeezing. Otherwise, there may be too much foam mixed with the juice, apple, celery. Okay, after juicing, make or after after juicing, close the five smart cap to stop the juice from dripping. Okay, that's this. Okay, so it's pretty much it's pretty much as simple as that. Okay, then it, it talks about the on and off buttons. 
which are on this side, which I also will be showing you guys up close footage of on this side. Forward pulls down and squeezes the ingredients slowly. Okay. When working, the screen shows a clockwise spinning flash. Please use number 14, the pusher, to press ingredients down rather than fingers in case any hurt when it is needed. Reverse pushes the ingredients back up if it is stuck. So if anything gets stuck in there, then you hit the reverse, it'll push it back up. So now on and off starts and stops operation, okay? Fibrous leafy ve vegetables, parsley not allowed, kale please cut in small pieces and start squeeze. So basically if you're gonna do like uh, green leafy vegetables, kind of squeeze them a little bit, cut them up before you put them in there. Parsley is not suggested to masticate It'll um, clog up your machine. Okay, if celery cannot be pulled down, please use pusher to push or put more celery in. Vegetables and fruit with uh, that has hard seeds. Please remove the seeds first. Otherwise, the appliance cannot show its best performance and the taste of the juice may not may not so good. Bruh, that's how it's, that's how it's written. May not so good. So suck it, uh, may not taste so good. Succulent vegetables and fruits. For the succulent vegetables and fruits, such as apple, pineapple, orange, please put them in the drum lid slowly in case any juice comes too fast and it will cause pulp and to... Oh, fuck. I'm just going to say what I know it's supposed to say because this is making me upset. All right, so basically for apples, pineapples, oranges, different stuff like that, you just want to put them in there slowly. You don't want to put them in there too fast because if it goes too fast, pulp is going to get into your juice and not where it's supposed to go, which is in the other container on the other side. See what I'm saying? Simple. Soft and succulent vegetables and fruit. Remember I said before to remember that the uh, there still will be a little juice with the pulp, with the tomato and watermelon and grape. It won't be able to suck out all the juice. Frozen fruits um, have to be thawed first. So basically, there's no real need to use frozen fruit in the masticator. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna have to thaw it out. So you might as well get you some fresh fruit. All right, and that's it. And then they said no sour fruit or vegetables, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, use the pusher. Okay, yeah, we already said okay. Boom. Let's make some juice. All right, let's make some juice. Let's make some fire ass juice. Um, okay, guys, so I will be right back. Um, and then, because right here you already see that we have the bottles that we're going to be putting our beautiful juice in. We already have our bottles. And I have a plethora of delicious fruits and vegetables. All right, y'all, as we all know, Corona is still making her rounds, period. So mask up. And this is a juice that is helpful for your immune system. It's very, very delicious. And it's one of those things that you could just make. It doesn't take a big to-do to die. But you know it's good for your body. It's good for your your or all, all your all your all your things. You know what I'm saying? You want to take care of yourself. So first then first fruit, we got some pineapple. And y'all, I'm gonna post the video. I I'm gonna post another video. I literally sat down and broke down and prepped a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables. I'm. <laughs> I might insert that video right here. All right, so y'all saw that? Your girl was in here prepping and chopping and doing things. You feel me? Okay. Because mise en place is really important when you're cooking, especially when you're filming and cooking. So I take that day, I took that time out of that day to prepare myself. So now that it's time to film, I only have to, you know, worry about setup and making sure that things are, you know what I mean? The food part, I can just move through that as smoothly as I want to, you feel me? So there we go, as smoothly as possible, cause you know, that's how we like things, you feel me? Smooth transitions. So we got some golden beets. We have a navel orange, a beautiful orange, which I am going to peel before I put it inside this machine. And I love these canisters. I got this set of canisters on Amazon. So we got some, and I'm gonna show y'all all the fruits and stuff up close too before I um, get to juicing it and everything. But we got some golden beets. We got some fresh pineapple. We got 
a beautiful orange. We have a champagne mango. I love these, they're so sweet and delicious. We have two honey crisp apples, which honey crisp apples are so bomb. We have two carrots. We have a big ass knot of ginger. Now for this amount of juice, I don't know, I might just use half of this, but I do want that ginger and the effects of that ginger inside this juice. It is imperative to have it. Also, there's another root that I'm gonna be using in this juice. We're also gonna put a small knot. Make sure y'all can see. We're also gonna put a small knot of some turmeric, y'all. And you know, we're gonna put a small knot of some turmeric, y'all. And you know, turmeric is very healthy. It has so much health property and it's delicious too. But I'm gonna put enough of it in there to where we get the effects of it in the juice but it's not overpowering in its flavoring. Cause I love turmeric, baby. I will sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle the hell out some turmeric. All right, let's get it. <laughs> we have some celery, which we're gonna put in last. Cause I mean, what's the point of trying to go against the grain in a break machine that look stupid. You feel me? I ain't gonna do that. So there, but there are times when you need to go against the grain. There are definite times when that matters and happening, you know what I'm saying? Like, but other than that, just, just follow your appliances and instructions. It's cool to do that. All right, we got celery. And we have some red chard. We have a leaf of red chard. All right, so now we're gonna put that, and then as they said, we just gonna ball that up and kind of squeeze it a bit before we put it in there. And that's to help release the juice of it. So let's set that on there. All right, we'll go ahead and peel this orange right quick. We got that orange. Now, with our mango, I mean, nobody's, but you know what it is, the skin is kind of thick. So I am gonna peel this mango and I'm gonna go get the de cedar for the apples. I'll be right back. And then, like I said, we got our apple core. I love this thing, this is one of my, favorite things to use. Oh, this fruit good and juicy too, boy, look at this. All right. And then see how it just releases it after you. Cause like, as far as being healthy and stuff and eating healthily is concerned, it's really truly all about balance because Yes, I will have my healthy fruit juice. I will drink my water. I will eat my vegetables, eat my fruits. You know what I'm saying? It have my balanced diet. But I'm gonna eat my junk food too, bitch. Like, I'm, I'm gonna have me a honey bun. I'm gonna eat me some chips and different stuff like that, but in moderation. You know what I'm saying? You just, you have your snacks, but you don't, you know, don't overkill it. You feel me? But you're making sure that you're putting things in your body that's healthy. And that ain't because of like weight or some shit like that. Cause like I said before, <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being a beautiful, thick, voluptuous woman, a fat person. Ain't nothing wrong with big bodies. We are beautiful. We are gorgeous. And you know what I'm saying? The extra pad and the fat is good for the brain cells. You feel me? All right. So, and there's nothing wrong. There's also nothing wrong with anybody's body. You feel me? I think the thing for real that's wrong with the world is, is people worry too much about other people's body yaddies. You feel me? Like, let people be beautiful. Let them be body positive. I think it's a wonderful thing. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I want to see a fat ass shake. I want to see a little booty shake. I like <laughs> medium booties. You know what I'm saying? Shit, it's all beautiful. Like, what the fuck? Shit. Anyhow, back to what I was saying. Okay, so I think this is the one I rinsed off. Yeah, it is. Okay. Okay, y'all. So now, remember I told y'all I was going to show y'all the pieces, <clears throat> excuse me, of the machine up close. So this is the machine up close. Oh, it's all pretty. Okay, here's the fruits and veggies and stuff up close. And then here is the, let's move that. 
out, your, out the way. I want to show y'all the control panel and how that look. So you see the forward button, the reverse button, and then at the bottom, the on and off. And that's the brand and stuff. Beautiful Ayeto. I am ready to get to it because this, I can smell the fruit, it smells bomb. So let's turn it on. Is it not plugged in or something? Okay, it's plugged in. Oh, there it is. Okay, that was the sound. There we go. Now we're about to make some juice. All right, so now we see. It's on, uh, it's on. Let's make some juice. Okay, and this is the, the stopper I was telling y'all about. Let it flow. And we get ready to move it. Oh, hold on. <laughs> like, we ain't wasting no juice. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. And so, this part is the part where you put the fruit in and it's going to go. I think the fruit goes like this way. There it goes. There it goes. Okay, now, so we're gonna go ahead, cause there's a little lock right here that you have to, a latch that you have to unlock, put it in there, then boom. All right, so first we're gonna start off with some very juicy fruit. We're gonna start off with the orange. So we're gonna break that in half, slide it on in there. And you see how it's just, it's chewing up. Oh, I was wrong. Oh no, I was right. And that's a lot of juice that's coming out of there. Because it's a soft fruit. And they did say that. Okay, so now, let's open that up. Mmm, that tastes good. Right, let's get another piece of orange. Okay, I like this. Okay, now let's try a fruit that's a little bit more, you know. Ooh, it chomped that apple right the fuck up. Y'all see that? Hold on, let's get y'all closer so you can see what I'm talking about. That was exciting. Let's put another, um... Move it on the way. Fix it on the way. Okay, so it's putting it in. Now let's put in another apple. Look at how it just. Look at how we chopped that damn apple up, y'all. Y'all see how it's chopped? Now, as far as loudness, this is not a super loud machine, and I like that. Um, I like that this machine is not really. Um, super just loud. You know what I'm saying? You can still hear. Um, hold on, we're gonna cut this. You can still hear. Look at it. I mean, it just chomped it the fuck up. Like it's literally chewing that shit. And then it chews it even more and more and more down there. So it takes its time. Hold on, let's see. So now, as you see here. Okay, so now as you guys see here, it stopped. And so the juice is coming out of the other side and the pulp is coming out on this side. Now watch what happens when I put fruit in. It's still chewing the first piece of carrot that I put in there. It's still chewing it and extracting the juice and the juice comes out on the other side, which is this side right here. So you can kind of see it coming out on both sides. Oh, that's beautiful. And so you see how it's taking its time. It's still chewing it. You see. Alright. So now let's see how this red chard is going to go in. Put some red chard in there. Yeah, so it just sucks it on in there. Yeah. So 
So you see how the more you put in there, the more it makes it go ahead and finish showing. The more juice comes out. I like this thing. I like this a lot. I'm happy with this part cheese. I can tell it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Hold on. I think we got our first stuck piece of fruit, child. Let's put in. Oops. Okay, let's put in our turmeric. We can get that charred to move them off of that soon. We're gonna put in our first knot of that beautiful ginger. So we already put in a knot of turmeric, and now we're putting in that knot of ginger. I'm trying to see if we can get that charred off of there, baby, because it's wrapped around there pretty tough. Let's see. Ooh, that's coming out so pretty. So good. I mean, that chart is stuck on our chair. I'm open any time with it up. Okay, so we're gonna stop it for a hot second. Unlock it and get this motherfucker off of here because that's not even. Ain't nobody got time for that type of shit. All right. I'm trying to make this juice shell. Hurry. This juice is hard. I wish I could smell these. now we're back um <laughs> it's actually the next day um my phone wound up dying and it was pretty late so i went on ahead and got me some rest and now we are here with the sunrise juice yes god honey this is sunrise juice and it's beautiful so look at this yes so we're gonna pour up a glass and taste it now this produced a lot of juice. I really appreciate the way that the machine um, masticates. It chews up the actual fibers of the uh, fruit and vegetables that you put in it so that it yields way more juice. I love that, I love that. This is all the juice that I got up out of those fruits and vegetables that I put in there. I have not drunk any of it, not a drop. So I don't know what it's tasting like. So we about to find that out right now. Yes, God, honey. Yes, God. And I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put on the screen or in the description, one or the other, all of the ingredients that I put into this juice so y'all can make it at home. Mm. Child, look here. Woo, that's fire. Oh, baby, baby. Child, that right there is delicious. Hold up. Because you know, this is that two goat. You feel me? Look at almost all of this. Oh. Mm. Child, back. That was fantastic. Oh my God. And then you got the little ginger. A kick from the ginger on the back end you got the earthiness of those gold um 
those golden beats, which are very delightful. Like it's not, it's not. This is bomb as fuck. Golly. <laughs> Like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad that I made this this way. So I will put the recipe for this particular juice in the description box below. Yes, that orange juice, all of this, this was just perfect. It's from perfect perfection. Like this, I almost drunk this whole bottle, champ. Hold up. Mm. Mm-hmm. And that turmeric. Mm. Mm. The turmeric is not overbearing. Oh my God, everything is just balanced so beautifully. That's fire. That's fire, child. That's delicious right there. And y'all, I love these um, bottles. I got these bottles from Amazon. I'll also put the link in the description box for these as well. So you can get a close up look at it. These are so soft and cute and pretty. And it's a, like a Snuggie for your glass bottles. You know what I'm saying? It was a set of six of these. And I think they were um, under $20. I got a set of these six glasses for under $20. Very far. Beautiful, look at the whole bottle of the juice. See, I can see what it looked like. Lovely, lovely. Fine. And then all of these bottles, the thing, and the other cute thing about it is that all of these bottles come with sleeves. Each bottle comes with a sleeve. Well worth the money, I feel. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. All right, y'all. So that's going to bring today's video too and in y'all i love y'all so very much and i really appreciate y'all coming through and vibing with your girl q the ayeto um slow juicer beautiful i loved it and i am looking forward to using this over and over again yes god honey yes god i cleaned the pieces and they were so easy to clean it also comes with a brush that you can you know brush out any uh fruit or vegetable particles that get stuck in the grates and as long as you, one thing I like to do, I will run some water, some warm water, put some soap in there, a little bit of bleach, a little, a little dab of bleach in there, and let those dishes soak in there. Let it soak for a little bit, and then you're good to go. Rinse it all out, the pieces that are able to go into the dishwasher, like the, um, the actual little plastic pieces, but the other parts, you don't wanna put those into the dishwasher because they're not gonna clean thoroughly. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta do those by hand, but it's not that much. It's really not. And so I really enjoyed this. This was wonderful, wonderful experience. I was super excited about it. I couldn't wait to get that thing. So now that I have it, I am gonna be getting my juice on. Okay. And I put a lot of celery in this and that stuff. Nothing is, it's not overpowering. It's really delicious actually. That's fine. I know how to mix Listen, I understand proportions and I know how to put some shit together. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, y'all. Much love from your girl Q. I thank you guys so very much again for coming on through and vibing with me, baby. And vibing with your girl. All right. So, um, if you are a business owner, if you have a service or anything like that, a book that you would like for me to give a thorough review to, please feel free to send me an offer at Fresh Eats LLC TV at gmail.com. Again, that's Fresh Eats LLC TV at gmail.com. Thank you once again. I love you guys so very much. Mm -hmm. I love you, I love you, I love you, I do. Do, 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 do. I do love you. I really, 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 really do. Period. All right, y'all. Bye. <laughs> yes, God. Now's the time we say goodbye to all our YouTube friends. Family, we love you all the way to the end. Thank you for watching this video. 
So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell too. What it do? I'll see y'all next time. Period. <laughs> I love you. <ya. laughs>